What's up, my Fina Live sisters? Fina D coming to you all from Vina Team at News. Child, mm, mm, mm. this Nini Leaks versus. Well, I shouldn't be saying Nini Leaks versus everybody because it's normally when other people are participating in the mess, then yes, that is valid. But when you are the only one fighting with yourself, <laughs> then it's like, okay. Now, of course. When we see the reunion, then Nini reaction will make sense. And Nini is doing an amazing job, okay, making sure she keeps people excited for the reunion because so far she's the only one who's really talking, hopping on Instagram live, and she's basically team too much. Okay, so before I jump into Kenya more and how Nini dragged her into all of this, Nini is still going in on Twitter. She's still retweeting things. The first one is, Portia is so very stupid. And for her, of all people, to try and talk about violence is like someone speaking in a foreign tongue. I don't believe or listen to stupid. Remember the underground railroad? <laughs> How could any black person be that stupid? Oof. Yes, the little sis, big sis is completely over the doors closed i get it i get it who knows with these people in reality tv maybe nini call everybody and say look we did bad this season and we need them ratings to go up so i'm going to be the bad guy i'm going to follow everybody and i'm going to go and be messy on twitter that's going to keep people talking that's going to get people excited to watch the remaining episodes and to watch the reunion so we can finish this thing with a bang you know who knows you never know what these people do behind the scene because for her to go from big sis little sis to agreeing that she's stupid and how can a black person be that stupid and all of that that's just too much but then again i can also see where her anger is coming from when you have campaigned for someone okay and literally put some on your back and, and put your job and yourself on the line. Like if she goes, I go, don't fire her. And then for that person to turn around and you know, they need like people to kiss her, you know what? It's no longer kissing your new, you know what? But then to turn around and insinuate that you will put your hands on a pregnant woman, I can see where her anger is coming from. So that's a proportion. She's, she seeks validation, right? So she loved to hear people say certain things about her. Uh, this is what Cynthia is troubling to give a person a second chance and they repeat the betrayal. I totally understand you being done with 52 cents. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Not 52 cents. <laughs> and then on Instagram... Oh, she's not done. She's not done. On uh, Instagram, she reposted this right here. This person wrote, Nini basically is the queen. Them B words wouldn't be there if it wasn't for her. Right? So after all of this, Cynthia Billy is in LA. She was on the rail, you know, earlier. As Cynthia is concerned, um, you're going to have to watch the final uh the finale to see what it is that she does now going a step further you guys only see a very small part of our lives uh cynthia's done a lot of stuff in my opinion on the down low and very sneaky and underhanded i'm just telling you the truth um i always just tell it like it is and you don't like it you don't like it and you can figure it out when you figure it out uh she has done a lot of stuff that you all just don't get to see on the show that's just like underhandedly and i always come out looking like the bad guy but when she's done a lot of fucked up stuff and that's just for real now what you guys see on social media that's what you see um i don't have no hate in my heart for cynthia uh we are co-workers from this day forward i don't have any reason to not speak to her i'm happy to speak to her but anything else further than that no it's not gonna happen we are co-workers and after 11 seasons i finally realized that these girls are my co-workers now, as, um, Cynthia did something in the finale that 
just doesn't work for me. And it, you won't see everything, but I think you will get the point. And there were some other things that um, I asked her a lot of stuff. She lied and lied and lied and lied and lied to finally, this finale, really um, shows the sneaky, underhanded Cynthia Bailey, which is unfortunate. Um, that's just what it is. She was she was sneaky. And I'm just telling you what the real deal is. And so Cynthia Bailey been ignoring, you know, Nini like anybody else. Can you ignore her? Portia Nairi care. Candy, no one cares. Right? At this point, she's fighting by herself. One thing about these girls, they are smart. Fight on Instagram and social media for free all you want. They're going to fight on camera and get their check. They are not about to go back and forth with you on social media. But when I tell you, Cynthia Bailey responds, has me in tears. First of all, Cynthia Bailey is like, wait a minute. How you going to diss me wearing my product? Okay? So, <laughs> the Real Housewife of Atlanta fan page posted Nene Instagram live and Cynthia Bailey wrote <laughs> at Cynthia Bailey eyewear <laughs> now what else is going on I'm like yes Cynthia get your quaint and Portia responded Cynthia I can't breathe you're gonna send me into labor <laughs> oh my god i am here for cynthia <laughs> i'm here for cynthia oh, i'm gonna read a comments on her, re <laughs> her response <laughs> period cynthia <laughs> laughing my of moot get that bag cheekbones <laughs> Now, what else is going on? Is that your eyewear she has on and trying to shade you? <laughs> yep, ironically. Get the queen part. Yes, Miss Bailey, you better plug. <laughs> Screamy. I love it. Oh, run, run far, far away. Just co workers supporting co workers on their side hustle. Exactly. Did you reply with, <laughs> with a plug? I cannot. <laughs> Again, uh, <laughs> Jocelyn Hernandez, ma'am, yes, ma'am, Cynthia, good publicity, hand clap, yes, plug, I was honestly wondering who made those glasses, thanks, gorgeous, <laughs> she still love you, Cynthia, you yeah, just need a makeup, okay, come buy these glasses, we're not worried about sis, exactly, 52 cents, <laughs> if I'm a co-worker, let me get some coins, <laughs> You better plug it, Miss Bailey. Cynthia basically saying, y'all hear something? Because she doesn't go and buy these glasses. Exactly. She's about her money. I heard that scene. Let them know. Exactly. This is why I love you, Cynthia. You are not with the drama. And your marketing skill set is on point. Yeah, Cynthia. Let me know. <laughs> they cute, too. Let him know this person meant. <laughs> yes, Miss 52 Cent. Keep it positive with the shades. Oh, man. And I'm not going to read in the board because it's over 100 comments. And Nini still love you. You need to make it clear if... Uh, no, you know what? At this point, it's exhausting. Who wants to have a friendship like that? At the moment you guys have a falling out, she's calling you stupid, stupid. She call, she's calling you every name in the book, talking about, you know, you were at the bottom of the bar and she basically pulled you up and dragged you up and now you're weak. Who wants a friend like that? It's okay. Friendships don't work all the time and it's all good. But then you just let it go and you move on. Who wants a friendship like that? Not I. That was hilarious.
thank you all for the love and support my fina loves if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on the notification so when i do post you are aware that i post it and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless